Hey, what's going on guys? It's Larry of Packmaster Dog Training here. Uh, let's get right into the question I received yesterday through email. Um, I'm going to just discuss this topic because I think it's really, really important. And I believe this is where most people fail with their dogs. I believe this is where all the problems are, are created or all the good behavior is created. So I'm going to go to my other phone here and I'm just going to read the whole email with the question and then we'll get back to answering it, all right? So the email I received was, uh, Larry, I've been following your YouTube channel for about a year and now and really love your videos and training methods. I have a question I was hoping you might be able to cover in one of your videos sometimes. How do you manage your dogs when you aren't working with them or able to supervise them? Are they always crated? Do you allow them to have free time together unsupervised? How do you manage them if you have an extended commitment elsewhere? We have two dogs in our household, a seven-year-old pit bull mix and an 18-month-old German Shepherd. Their behavior is always impeccable when we are with them and when they are indoors with us, etc. But whenever we go out or leave them alone together, even for five minutes, they run absolute riot and have really done some damage around our home through playing in and out of control manner. For about 10 months now, we have always created the shepherd while we're out or not able to supervise them. And this put a temporary band-aid on the problem. But we purchased her on the hope that she will guard our property when we aren't home due to a lot of home break-ins in our area. So creating her while we are out is not the ideal solution. But it is just that she's still too young at 18... Hold on. But is it just that she's still too young at 18 months old to be left out on the property unsupervised? Is there any any training I can do with her to teach her how to behave when left alone on the property? Okay, good question. Sorry about that, guys. I can't see. I'm like half blind, so I had trouble reading that. Um, 18 months old, is she too young? How do I manage my dog? Yes, she's, she's too young to be left out. Um, I'll tell you what I do. I have made a video on this before where I touched on it, so let's do it again, all right? 20-something um, years ago, one of the first trainers I worked with, he had the best behaved dogs I had ever seen in my life. I mean, the behavior of his dogs was, was impeccable, and I asked him about that because that's what always interests me, well-behaved dogs, not dogs that did fancy stuff. And one of the things he told me that I still do today was his rule of thumb was, the dogs sleep in their crate until they're one year old at night, no matter how well trained they are, okay? Also, he doesn't leave them uncrated until they're two years old when no one is home to supervise them. That was a general rule of thumb. That is something that I have stuck to for many, many years, ever since then, 20-something years, and we have really well-behaved dogs in, in the home. I've never come home to a garbage can knocked over or something chewed up or, you know, they don't jump on the counters. And, and what it does, guys, is when you give them too much freedom too early, they develop a lot of bad habits. Young dogs are going to get into things and do things. Then you spend your time fixing bad behaviors, okay? When you use containment, when you use a crate when they're young to teach them, they bypass a lot of those bad behaviors. They don't have an opportunity to, to um, get into the bad habits, all right? So creating a dog when it's young, at 18 months old, yes, I would not leave a dog unsupervised. Now, there are some dogs that are real easy going and you can leave them unsupervised, loose in the house at 18 months old. I wouldn't, I don't do it, but with two dogs, no, you're going to get the, the playfulness and the running around and the going crazy. It's, it's party time when mom and dad aren't home. So, at 18 months old, chances are the dog wouldn't protect your property anyway, okay? Most dogs won't. doesn't matter what kind of breed it is. And at 18 months old, that dog's still a baby. So you definitely want to use a crate and keep the dog contained when you're not home. That's, that's, that's what I do um, up at that age. And you're going to avoid a lot of, lot of issues, a lot of problems. So what do I do? How do I manage my dogs? How do I supervise my dogs? The stuff that goes on in the home, as we've talked about before, is the most important to me. You know, how you live with your dogs dictates how your dogs live with you. That's all That's all there is to it. So all the behaviors are created inside the home, at least for me. The bad behaviors, the good behaviors. 
So I mentioned the crating. One year old until, uh, you know, they sleep in their crate till they're one year old. They're not left loose in the house and they're two years old. But after that, guys, after that two year old, I put a lot of work in the first two years. I mean, a lot of work because by two years old, our dogs are really self sufficient. Okay. There isn't much to do inside the home with them. They're well behaved. No, I don't crate them all the time when we're home. They don't have to stay on a place board when we're home. They have free reign of the house when we're home. That's it. But of course, they're going to hang with us. When we go to bed at night, they sleep in my room, on the floor, around the bed. I don't allow my dogs on my furniture. I don't allow my dogs in my bed. That's a personal choice. You guys do what you want. Um, it's a lot of work when you get a puppy. But if you put in the time and the work... Then, when that dog starts coming into maturity, into adulthood, around two years old, you have a self-sufficient, well-behaved dog. Uh, another big mistake I see people make is they get a new puppy, and the dog goes on a leash from day one. It's always on a leash, okay? And then, later on, you have to spend time training your dog to be off-leash. So people do it backwards. They do it opposite. My puppies never see a leash. They don't see a leash for a long time. Because at that age, you want to use that drive to be with you that they have. You are their life support. You are everything. That social drive, that food drive, everything comes from you. So when they're puppies, our puppies just follow us around. If we go for a walk, they just follow us wherever we go. Okay? So then when it's time to introduce the leash, it's, it's really, really simple. But being off-leash never becomes a novelty to our dogs. So that's another big error that, that, that people make. Um, we do have plenty of rules and boundaries inside the home. When the dogs are inside, I made a video with Luca the other day showing him just relaxing and laying down. That's what our dogs have to do. I don't care if they're up and about and moving around and going to check things out. But the dogs do not wrestle. They don't play. We don't have toys left out in the house. Actually, there's no toys left out in the house ever. And I, and I tell people, please, don't, don't do that. You know, we don't leave their food out for them all the time. So it's just a very normal lifestyle when they're in the home with us. You know, we do have a lot of rules and boundaries. And they are not allowed to rough house and act crazy. You know, and they know that. And they know that. And normally they don't even attempt that. It's, it's, they're just so used to, to the, I'll give you an example. When, when, um, Buddy, the golden doodle was a puppy. We got in a habit once he was out of the crate a lot. When we came into the house right away, we'd have him go to his bed. Okay. We would place him on his bed. That was just routine before we released him to be free to this day. When he comes in from outside, he goes straight to his bed and lays down, even when he doesn't have to, because we just developed that habit, okay? So whatever you're doing with your dog on a daily basis, they're going to develop that habit and that routine. So make that routine and those habits beneficial to you, okay? The dog has to accommodate you. You don't accommodate the dog. And I just see so many people failing at this, and it's so easy to avoid, so I, th I hope that answers your, your question. You have to put the time in that first two years. The, the way I kind of see it, guys, you know, and I kind of look at it like this. When we take a puppy home, eight, ten weeks old, you know, that's, that's preschool and kindergarten. That's, that's the way I see it, you know, from eight weeks to, I don't know, 16 weeks old. Let's say that's, that's kindergarten time. You know, you have a baby. You have a little, little child on your hands age-wise, okay? from maybe 16 weeks as four months old to to eight months old you know you're in elementary school okay from eight months old to let's say 18 months old you know you're going through junior high and high school you know the adolescent stage and from 18 months on you know you start developing to be into a, a young adult and that's kind of how I see it with the dogs, you know, it just is. So I put in a lot of time and a lot of work with my dogs. Someone made a comment the other day and it, he, he was dead on. As far as Luca goes, people ask me, how many hours a day do you train with Luca? And, and I just laugh. I don't train with Luca an hour a month. You know, I do very little with Luca. But someone made the comment, well, you put the time in when he was a puppy. Yes, I did. Everything Luca knows today he knew just about everything he knows today by the time he was four months old, five months old. I do put in the work when they're young. 
excuse me, big time. You have to. If you don't want to put in the work when they're young, don't get a puppy because it is a lot of work, okay? I get my dogs out a lot. I bring them in a lot. I take them out to go to the bathroom a lot. We don't have accidents in the house when they're puppies. I don't give them an opportunity to. I'm an absolute fanatic with developing that dog. But listen, guys, when my dogs are past that two-year-old mark, um, if, if my kids leave a half a Pop-Tart on the arm of the couch before we leave for the day, when we come home, no, the dogs aren't crated. They're uncrated. They have free rent of the house. That Pop-Tart's still there. They don't touch it, you know, and I never put a Pop-Tart down or a treat down and train them to do that. It's just normal for them not to touch food or anything they're not supposed to when they're in the house. But we create that. We develop that the first two years of their life. So I hope this answers that question. If I didn't, send me another response and I'll do my, my best to, to get that answer for you. All right, folks. Thanks.